Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a unaffordable look. So um, by saying that, I actually mean that everything's obviously affordable, but it does not mean that everything is drugstore, unfortunately. But um, I'm gonna try to mostly keep it all drugstore because I know it's a little bit easier to find. But everything else that mostly is affordable in this video, you can also find at Ulta. So yeah, and I'll also be leaving down the prices down below in the description box just in case you wanna check it out. Um, but I'm not going to make this intro too long, so we're going to go ahead and just jump right into it. So the first thing I'm going to be taking is my spoolie and this uh, angled brush that I use for my eyebrows. Um, this, I think, was an e.l.f. brush, but I think it actually came off already. And then I'm going to be taking my ColourPop um, Eyebrow Dip Pomade, and this is in the shade Black and Brown. This is a little, um, like... Not, I'm not old like that, but like I don't really use this anymore, so yeah, but it's a very good price. I think it's like $6, so I'm just going to go ahead and do my brows. So now that I'm done with this brow, I'm going to go ahead and do the other brow as well, and then I'll come right back on camera. Alright, so the next thing I'm going to do now is take my Milani Concealer. Um, they just released these, I think, not too long ago. But obviously, you can find them at a drugstore. And then, as far as a brush, this is just a brush from my local art supply store, which is Michael's. So I'm going to go ahead and just clean up um, the bottom of the brow with this. And then I'm going to go ahead and do the exact same thing to the other eye. Alright, so I already went ahead and also primed my lids. And I just used the same concealer by Milani. And I forgot to tell you guys that I'm in the shade medium beige. Um, so the next thing I'm going to do is just keep this uh, eye look really simple. But y'all are about to trip out because I found a dupe for the Jaclyn Hill palette. And I'm just shook. Like, shook. Um... The name of this palette is called Makeup Depot. I don't know where you can find this online. Like I looked it up on Google, Google and it pops up on quite a few websites. But I picked this up at a little like makeup store by my house and it was the last one. And guess how much I paid for it? It was $10, okay? Yes, $10. So this is what the inside looks like. And I'm telling y'all, it's literally an exact dupe for the Jaclyn Hill. Like, here's the Makeup Depot one. And then here is the actual Jaclyn Hill one. Whoa. Trying to get both of them on the screen. Um, the only thing I think that I might say is that the Jaclyn Hill one is a little bit bigger in pan size in person. Like, just a tad. You cannot... You can't really tell. It's so hard to hold both of these. Okay, y'all see my baby hairs right there? They're playing me. But, um, I don't know. In person, it looks just a tad big, a bit bigger. But can you guys see this? It's, like, literally exactly the same. I should have showed you guys the palettes, like, first. And then you guys should have guessed. No, I'm just kidding. But the color is also different. Hers is, like, um, more of a gray in the inside. As you can tell, and this one's white. So, yeah, but anyways, we're going to be using the dupe one, obviously, because um, the Jaclyn Hill one is still not that expensive, but this one was only $10. I did find it on Google on some random website for only $5, so just look around, um, and then you'll find it somewhere, I'm sure. So I'm just going to be taking a very neutral color, and I'm going to be taking this Wet n Wild Fluffy brush. It's already dirty, but I already, like, you know, took off, okay, like, these baby hairs, nah, nah, nah. I already took off the extra um, product off of it. So the first thing I'm going to be doing is taking this shade right here. And I'm just going to be set, setting. I was going to say setting. I'm just going to be setting the um, concealer. I'm like packing and rubbing a little bit. I don't know exactly how pigmented this palette is because 
I have not used it actually. This is the first time that I'm going into it. And then I'm gonna go ahead and do the same to the other eye. Oh no, not with that crease up in there. Blend it back out. I'm honestly being really messy with this because I'm not gonna do too much with this look. Like I'm just kind of not letting my eyelids look like I'm dying, you know, like all white and veiny. <laughs> yep, that's so much better. And then the next thing I'm gonna do is just take a more defined brush, like more in, so I could get more into the crease. Um, and this is a Morphe M411 brush. Um, I'm trying to see if I maybe have a Wet n Wild one that might be a little bit cheaper. Okay, so unfortunately I don't, but either way, Morphe is not that um, expensive. Wet n Wild has more brushes anyways, I just don't have any with me at the moment. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to go in with this shade right here, which is next to this kind of more yellow looking one. Just to kind of deepen up the crease a little bit. Like I said, just really messy, honestly. Because um, I just want some color, like, on my eyelids. Not really going for anything too sharp or anything like that. And then the last thing you want to do is add um, any, like, more neutral shade. You could honestly add even a shimmer shade to the lid, but like I said, I'm just trying to keep it simple. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this um, first, like the whitest shade in here, and just pack it on to the lid with any flat brush. I know Wet n Wild for sure has a flat brush. Let me see if I can find mine. All right, so here's the two that I have, um, which are obviously both dirty, um, but this one doesn't have such a bright color on it as this one, as for this one does. So I'm just gonna go in with this one and um, take off the product that was already on here. And I'm using this little spongy thingy. And then I'm gonna go ahead and just pack on that white shade. So this does actually have a small shimmer to it and I didn't really realize. Um, but it's cool, no big deal, you know, we're gonna work with what we got. And plus it might be a little bit better that it's not like just a matte white. And then with that same brush that we last used, you're kind of just going to want to blend everything together. Alright, so the next thing I'm going to do now is um, use a little bit of concealer um, before my foundation because your girl got really nasty bags. So I feel like that uh, really helps me personally if I conceal twice, which yeah, I know is a lot of makeup, but... I mean, I'm not lying, like my bags are really bad, so that I have that are affordable. Um, and yes, both are actually drugstore, so that's plus. So the first one I have, which has been my go-to for a while now, which is the Maybelline Superstay Full Coverage Foundation. Supposedly it's up to 24 hours, but I don't really think it is. So, I mean, then again, nobody really wears their makeup for 24 hours, so who knows. And this is in the shade 312, this is in golden. And then the next one I have, this is um kind of matte, but and kind of dewy. Like I would honestly say it's for combination just because I feel like I'm kind of combination. I'm more definitely on the dry side, but I get oily in my T-zone and then everything else is extremely dry. Um, but I also got one for people with oily skin. This does work for me if I prep my face completely like you know well on point and everything i've been doing my skincare for like the last three days i mean i do my skincare every day but like correctly and i say that because it's super matte and this is the hard candy glamouflage full coverage foundation foundation 16 hour wear oil free and i would say this is definitely what it says it is which is a matte um full coverage foundation well it doesn't say matte but it's a full coverage foundation definitely is oil free like as soon as you put it on if you don't work it into the skin it will definitely dry up and cling on to your dry patches so you don't want that to happen but i've worn that to like um the beach where like you know you kind of get like where like the sun's out you know things like that so that way you don't get oily super great for that and then oh actually i forgot one more so this is the Makeup Revolution Foundation Stick, and let me tell you, this thing is amazing. I was really iffy about buying it, but I'm so glad I actually did buy it because it's honestly 
kind of taking over this one to be honest the only thing is that i bought this one a little too dark so i haven't used it as much as i wanted to but you can definitely use a little bit darker one for a more like bronzy glowy look for the summer but i don't really care right now i'm gonna use it anyway that way you guys can see how it looks do you guys see that it's like pretty dark so and also another thing is i've used this with a brush and a um sponge and honestly it works 30 times better with a brush so i'm gonna use a brush as soon as i get it all right so i'm just using like a flat brush that i found it was like three dollars or whatever i don't know just use any flat brush that's pretty dense that way it doesn't hold in a lot of product or pull in a lot of product okay yeah these baby hairs canceled do you guys see that like i mean you can keep layering this which is a good thing but i don't want to layer it because i'm going more for like a natural look i'm not you know taking pictures or anything with this plus i have layered it about a few times like when i actually did wear it out and i mean it worked really well but i just personally don't really like um stacking up my foundation like you know layering it i think it becomes a little too thick for me in my opinion but it doesn't look cakey or anything it looks nice i just not really my vibes i'm gonna go ahead and finish up the forehead and then also use the milani concealer to conceal my under eyes and i will be right back unfortunately my camera's dying what's new so by the time i come back it will be that part will be done <laughs> all right so i'm back and i did what i said i just put um the milani concealer underneath and then i set it so what i set it with with was with um is it two yeah two different setting powders and I, it's like in this little container that i keep um but the two setting powders are rcma setting powder that's the only thing i think that you only can find online but it's um a pretty big bottle i think the bottle is probably like as big as this and it's only like 10 or 11 dollars and it's a super good setting spray for the low um and i also mixed it with the i believe the air spun powder um that you can find i believe at walmart i don't know where else you can find it sometimes i think like rite aid and stuff might have it um but I'm not really too sure. I know for sure a lot of the Walmarts carry them. But yeah, so I just mix them both in together and then I set them. I feel like it gives me a better um, setting powder, if that makes sense. When I mix both, I don't know, maybe it's just in my head. I have no idea. But that just what works for me. And then I just put on a pair of lashes that I found at a little beauty store also. And those were $3. I know Ardell sells very inexpensive lashes. So, or if you find any that are inexpensive, put on whatever lashes you want to. And then the next thing I'm going to do now is take this e.l.f. stippling brush um, and this Milani baked bronzer. And this is in the shade 6 uh, Golden. So this is a little too dark for me right now. This is like um, something I use in the summer to bronze. But I'm just going to kind of contour with it here. And then I'll like dust off the rest because honestly it's pretty dark. And then I push up to start blending it. And then here in circular motions. And then I will do the exact same thing to the other side. Okay, so now that I'm done um, like contouring this, um, the next thing I'm going to do now is... Um, I forgot bronze the face. So I'm going to be using um, my NYC bronzer. So this is what it looks like and it's really beaten up because I've had it forever and I already hit pan on it. I don't even know if they sell this anymore, but I honestly haven't checked, which I'm pretty, I'm pretty sad. Well, I will be sad if they don't because I feel like this has honestly been a really good um, like holy grail of mine since I pretty much started makeup. Um, and then this, I'm, uh, what is this? Ooh, an elf. I always forget the name of my brushes. A blurring powdered brush. And then I'm just going to start tapping it in that area where I contoured. And then up the sides of the temples, up to this area here. So you don't want to take it in too much. Like you want to stop like mid brow and just kind of like push. 
This is to just bring color back into your face. So like this center here is like normally where I put concealer. Um, so that's why you don't want to do that because then your your the darkness of the bronzer kind of makes your forehead looks like small and squeegee, I guess. <laughs> and then the same thing for the chin area. Then you just want to bring it down a little bit to the neck because you don't want to make it look like you have a mask on. And then the next thing I'm going to do is take um, a blush. So the blush I have is by Mika Beauty. Um, and this is, I wouldn't say like drugstore because you can't find it like at Rite Aid and stuff. But it is affordable. I believe it was like $5. And it's in the shade uh, Desert Dusk. I do actually own one by Catrice. And that is affordable and you can find it at Ulta. Their blushes are pretty um, nice. I just for some reason today couldn't find mine. I don't know if I left it somewhere. So, but I'm gonna just use what I have for right now. And then the brush I'm using is also by uh, Wet n Wild. And honestly, a lot of these things, if you've seen already, I already use them in a lot of my tutorials. So they're really nothing new. Oh my God, do y'all see what I just did? And then do the same thing to the other side. And I will blend this stuff out right now because this is not cute. Um, and then I'm going to dust it off. You can honestly dust off your powder with any brush. Um, I'm just going to use my Morphe one that I always use. And I'm going to start dusting off pretty fast because um, I need to fix this blush that looks like I just got knocked out right there. I'm like definitely getting some hot flashes right now while I'm doing this. Dude, these baby hairs are killing me here. Like all of them. They're just, they're very broken and unhealthy. And I'm just super overdue for a haircut. But, um, what else am I going to do? Highlight, duh. So the highlight I'm going to be using is, um, so I actually have three of them. That way, I always drop my stuff. Anyways. The highlight that I have right now um, in my hand is the Sun Glow in the number 3 by Milani. And this was $10. Um, and then I also have this one by Wet n Wild that everybody was going crazy about for a long time on the beauty community. This is in Precious Petals. And then the last one I have is another hyped one. Is the Maybelline Master Chrome one. This is more of a golden one. And the Precious Petals a little bit more on the pink side, if you can tell. And then the last one is also kind of um, golden. So this is, it's more like a golden sheer, I guess. But this is the most golden one. Sorry, this one, the Master Chrome one. So that's actually the one I'm going to be using. And also because I haven't picked it up in a while. Like I said, just giving you guys some that you might want to try. So the brush I'm going to be using is the Morphe one. I don't really own that many drugstore brushes, nor do I think there's very many. And then I'm going to be using the e.l.f. Makeup Mist and Set Spray. And this is by e.l.f. So you guys already know that this is super affordable. Um, so I usually spray it before and then I'll put it into the pan and then kind of let it sit a little bit or blow it and then just pack it on. All right, and then with that same highlighter, you're going to want to put it into the inner corners and the brow bone. Personally, me, when I'm going for a more natural, everyday look like this, um, I do want to look more bronze, like I said. Oh my god, I just... I just want to go for a more glowy look, so that's why I'm going to actually be adding the highlight also onto the brow bone. So I'm going to go ahead and do that, and then I will be right back. So now that that's done, the last thing I'm going to do to put this look all together is the lips. And I found um, two of them that I own that I like very much. And this is the NYX uh, Lip Pencil in Mahogany. And this is my second one, so you know that I actually really like it. And then this is the Wet n Wild, I believe this is a liquid cat suit matte lipstick. And this is in the shade Give Me Mocha. So I'm going to go ahead and line the lips. Oh 
and then I'm gonna fill in the lips and then um, I also forgot to mention really quick because I actually just seen it is the clear brow gel and this is by Milani so you know you've already had a lot of powder put on your face and everything flies into your brows so this kind of just helps it take all the powder out and just really pull the brows together also if you feel like your eyebrows ended up a little too dark you can always really rub this in and it'll help take out some of the extra product you have in there um, which I think is really nice so you know shout out to Milani and then I'm going to fill this in because I did it a little backwards <laughs> All right, so now that I finished up the lips, this completes the affordable drugstore slash other stuff that's affordable look. I really hope you guys enjoyed this and it would be nice if my camera could focus. Um, but yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this look and that it wasn't too hard or difficult and you don't think that maybe you can get these things, but I try to make everything very access accessible 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 um but yeah i hope to see you guys on my channel soon any questions comments down below like if you would like or subscribe if you want to but until next time i will see you guys on my channel bye